This is best captured in a famous story of Galton's ox. In 1907, statistician Francis Galton attended a county fair where visitors guessed the weight of an ox. Nearly 800 people submitted estimates with varying expertise. When Galton analyzed the results, he discovered something remarkable. The average guess of the entire crowd was 1,197 pounds, just one pound off the actual weight. The collective wisdom produced a near perfect answer, and this result is remarkably consistent. Try it. The best answer is always going to be the average of all the guesses. And this phenomenon is precisely why prediction markets are so powerful. They combine the wisdom of crowds with the price discovery mechanism of betting, creating something far more accurate than either alone. To see how this happened, let's go back to the practical problem faced by bookies like Alice, who need to constantly change prices or odds to adjust for their risk based on the betting flow. And there is a simple and beautiful solution. Why not just let people who made their bets continue to trade their tickets directly with each other on the open market? And this way, the prices for these $1 tickets can float like a stock price, but between zero and one. And after the event, the winners can go back and cash in their winning tickets with Alice. And historically, this is how prediction markets were born. They emerged multiple times in the context of election betting. For example, let's take the 1916 election between Wilson and Hughes, one of the closest in U.S. history. Imagine initially Alice sells Hughes win tickets for 53 cents and Wilson win tickets for 47 cents, with each ticket paying out $1 if that candidate wins. After selling the initial batch of tickets, Alice's job is done. She can sit back and watch the ticket holders trade directly with each other all day long through a market exchange. And as we've seen, this starts with open outcry pits and then electronic books. But the key to making a market work is every trade is public and anyone can participate. This creates a floating market price that reflects real-time collective belief. And so Alice can let these people trade continuously until the very last moment. After the election ends, Alice honors all winning tickets at $1 each regardless of what price they just paid in the market. 